There's a big difference between talking and reporting, especially right now with a fire hose worth of news coming your way. You know what helps? Having reporters in the field. I'm Brad Milkey from ABC News, and that's what we've got on ABC's daily podcast, Start Here. Every morning, Start Here takes you across the country and around the world for a quick, smart look at the stories that matter. It's fast, it's straightforward, and sometimes, gasp, news can even be fun. So let's meet up tomorrow morning. Listen to Start Here wherever you get your podcasts. TIAA is on a mission. Why? Because 54% of Black Americans don't have enough savings to retire. So in collaboration with big name artists like Wyclef Jean, TIAA released Paper Right. New music inspiring a new financial future. With 100% of streaming sales going to a nonprofit that teaches students how to invest. Stream Paper Right now and help close the gap. Welcome back, everybody. It's Friday, folks, February 9th, 2024. Born on this date in 1933, former six-time LPGA tournament winner Joanne Prentice of Birmingham. Today, let's see, we probably have another cold snap coming. We have a Rick and Bubba update. We have two new, really old shark species. And newsflash, landlines are dying. My name's Ike Morgan, and we're down in Alabama. We had a technical issue yesterday. Some of you probably didn't get audio on your show until the afternoon. We apologize for that and hopefully we'll learn our lesson going forward. Weather forecasts for Alabama have us staying fairly warm over the next several days with rain chances here and there. But that doesn't mean we're emerging from winter chills, reports Lee Morgan. Now beginning sometime late next week through the first week or so of March, Longer range forecasts show that we're likely to see temperatures that are below average for this time of year. For mid-February, average would mean high in the mid-50s to mid-60s and lows in the mid-30s to mid-40s, depending on where you are in the state. Last week, we reported that the popular radio show out of Birmingham, The Rick and Bubba Show, will end its 30-year run in December. Now we know that it's likely co-host Rick Burgess will go solo with the Rick Burgess Show beginning in 2025, reports AL.com's Mary Colerso. Radio industry sources are reporting that the president of the company that syndicates Rick and Bubba has confirmed the future show. Now if you listen to Rick and Bubba and metrics indicate that down in Alabama has some crossover audience, so at least some of you do, you know that several guys who work on the show are also on-air personalities. We've heard no indication as to whether some of the staff would follow Burgess to his new show. There's also no word yet on format on Rick and Bubba. There's a lot of humor and storytelling and cutting up as well as an emphasis on the co-host Christian Faith. Burgess also heads up a men's ministry called Man Church. Shark's teeth found in North Alabama have helped scientists discover two more ancient species reports AL.com's Howard Koplowitz. Teeth from the big fish were also found in Kentucky's Mammoth Cave. Mammoth Cave National Park officials said the two sharks, okay, I'm going to try this, Troglocodotus tremble and Glickmanium cariforum swam near shorelines in North Alabama more than 325 years ago. And that's so long ago that the continents have come together and then drifted apart since. Landline phones may be about to go the way of telephone booths. CNN recently reported on a filing by AT&T seeking permission to stop servicing traditional analog landline phones in California. Telephone service providers are replacing old telephone lines with technology that doesn't work on landlines. And let's face it, nobody's adding landlines anymore anyway. Your kids already see old movies of someone dialing a rotary phone like we saw someone hand-cranking a Model T. AT&T said it isn't trying to cancel landline service in California altogether. The plan is to offer customers an alternative to landlines that would convert analog to digital. Whatever happened to just picking up the phone receiver and saying, Sarah, get me Juanita down at the diner. Now that was service. Hey, one more thing we'll do as a service to y'all especially some of you who are a little more forgetful on the romantic holidays. Valentine's Day is coming up February 14th. 
Now, there is a marketing effort related to that in South Alabama. For those who may be seeking a cathartic release rather than romance on that day, if you give a $25 donation to Perfect Partners in Mobile, the folks there will name a feral cat after your ex-boyfriend or ex-husband and neuter it. Have a great weekend. We'll be back on Monday. Until then, as always, we're open 24 hours a day and 7 days a week on the World Wide Web at AL.com.